Today we've come to the Tower House in Winchester, Tower House Horses, who are a charity themselves, and we've come here to see three World Horse Welfare rescue ponies. When I first met Paddy, he was confined to a stable along with his friend on a DIY yard, and we were looking into a welfare concern where the allegation revolved around him not having access to water, not going out the stable, not being fed. And so we started to build this picture of, of a, a longer term potential neglect. And in those kind of situations, we're looking to you know, speak to people, find an owner, speak to a yard manager, and obviously assess the horses and, and try and have a look at them and, and see what kind of health they're in. And to really validate or not whether those allegations are correct. So when we saw, first saw Paddy, he was in a stable, but it was, it was quite a dark space. There was quite a few hazardous areas within the stable, things that certainly gave me concern. Um, nails sticking out, broken glass um, at one point, and um, he didn't seem to want to interact with people. He was really quite shut down towards human interaction, which is quite, it's quite telling when you, you see a horse in that scenario because you start to suspect that they're not forthcoming with human interaction and therefore they're not, they're not getting that human interaction. With a lot of investigative work, we were able to gather enough evidence to say, no, you know, this person that owns this horse has absolutely failed him and haven't provided him with his basic life necessities, um, water, uh, appropriate feed, um, all of those kind of things that a horse needs. So we were, happily, we were able to work with the RSPCA and gather enough evidence, which was, you know, it was time consuming, it was what needed to be done, um, gather lots and lots of regular evidence to be able to put before a court to say, look, this person, this owner is not doing what they should be doing, even though we've, we've all given them the advice that they, sh that they needed to be able to do what they needed to do. And so ultimately the courts agreed and found the owner guilty of, of neglect under a Section 9 offence of the Animal Welfare Act and happily Paddy and his companion who he was with were signed over and awarded to World Horse Welfare. I think we've heard quite a lot recently in the press about horses having a job to do and I think historically probably the equine industry has always thought about a job that horses do as being a ridden job but we are really starting to recognise that there are many more jobs that horses can do and using horses in a, a therapy environment um, is really becoming more and more popular um, because people are recognising what kind of valuable input the horses can have on, on human lives. And so it's not just about looking after the human element of it, it's about looking at, uh, after the partnership and that special relationship that horses can have with humans and, and spreading the word that that's an option for people to have help with their problems through this amazing facility. We came into being because we uh, realised the great power of horses to heal people. So we work with people with all kinds of mental health issues and people who have suffered life trauma, um, anxiety, depression. And the great thing about horses is that they are incredibly healing and empathetic to be around. So we work with them to help our clients rebuild their confidence and self-esteem, to gain emotional resilience, uh, improve their ability to communicate, and just generally go away feeling uplifted by having spent time with these wonderful creatures. We work with a number of beneficiary groups. We work with, for example, victims of domestic abuse, previous offenders who are going through rehab, people with um, alcohol and substance misuse issues, young people with anxiety and depression. The wonderful thing about horses is that they, what we do with them works with a whole variety of people because it gets right down to the, the core, the lack of self-esteem, the lack of confidence that people come with. 
and it's beautiful to see the horses interact with them because they don't judge you, they don't have an opinion about where you've come from or what you've done. They're totally without judgment and they give you accurate feedback about your emotional state, which is the basis of how we work. That feedback that the horse gives us tells us what we need to know about the person in that interaction. And then we can help them build their confidence as they gradually get more used to being around the horses, do very simple tasks, there's nothing nail-bitingly um, you know, out of your comfort zone about what they do here. They'll just spend time with the horses, groom them, lead them around, just learn how to make a connection because obviously making a connection for some of our clients is a very challenging thing to do, but the horses make it easy for them. My dealings with World Horse Welfare go way back because I uh, bought a new horse and he had a companion already with him. Unfortunately, the companion died within three days of me having this new horse come home. So I was desperately phoning around to rescue centres and uh, the ILPH had the wonderful Tommy, my little Exmoor pony. So he's been with me for 20 years. So my background with World Horse Welfare goes back that far because obviously ILPH became World Horse Welfare. And after that, we went back to them repeatedly for other members of the herd. As we were building the herd, we acquired Blackie. And then last year, Paddy joined the team. I think rehoming a horse from World Horse Welfare has been a really positive experience because you get fantastic support. They're also very good at matching you with the kind of horse you need. And I think as awareness generally of equine assisted learning and, and this field of activity grows, then also World Horse Welfare have become used to what we need in a, in a pony. And uh, you know, some ponies come from very challenging backgrounds. There are very few we can't you know, consider taking because actually that's one of the, the magic ingredients with our ponies is the fact that they also match our clients in some ways because you know, their levels of anxiety and so on. Uh, and in that way, the horses bring a lot to the therapeutic process because they've, they've got the lived experience. They've been there, got the t-shirt. And so they're fantastic for that. And World Horse Welfare are incredibly supportive. And you know, we can call up any time and ask for advice and help. And uh, it's been a really fantastic process. So coming here today to see, to see our horses, see our rescue horses, it's just an incredible thing to see. When you think about the things that they've gone through in their own lives, to then conquer the, those problems and furthermore go on to help humans in solving their problems, I think it's just an incredible thing. And certainly as somebody who's, who's rescued a horse, you know, to see them in this kind of scenario, you just couldn't ask for more. Um, they've definitely fallen on their feet here with the Tower House.